the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Mamallapuram will be once again in the global map as the shore town is getting ready to host the prestigious 44th Chess Olympiad from July 28th to August 10th. It will be a proud moment for India as the country for the first time is hosting this event. Interestingly, this event is coming back to Asia after a gap of 30 years. This is the second time in three years that Mamallapuram will be in the limelight. In October 2019, the town hosted the second informal summit between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese Premier Xi Jinping. In the Chess Olympiad, nearly 2,000 delegates from 187 countries will be actioned during the 12-day event. It was a very interesting way in which both the Indian government and the Tamil Nadu government pitched for this prestigious event. In fact, the moment FIDE pulled out Russia, which was supposed to host this event, Tamil Nadu government and the centre, in association with the All India Chess Federation, sprung into action immediately by pitching with FIDE to host the global event. It was the last week of February and Bharat Singh Chauhan, Secretary of the All India Chess Federation, was trying to shortlist a few venue in a short notice. Russia, which had originally backed the event, had lost its chances after invading Ukraine. With Poland and Uzbekistan keen to host the event, he had to move really fast to bring the event into India for the first time. When Chauhan reached out to the Tamil Nadu government, which was one of the states in his list of potential hosts, he was asked to come to Chennai the same evening. The state bureaucracy worked at top speed. Mamallapuram was pitched as a venue and Chief Minister M.K. Stalin freed up his calendar to meet with Chauhan the next day and gave his in-principle nod. A formal letter was issued by the state government by 4 p.m. the same day. But why Mamallapuram? It is an interesting story too. With natural ecosystem of beaches and resorts, it impressed the International Chess Federation. The venue was decided in March after visits by the officials of the International Federation. Tamil Nadu government along with the All India Chess Federation had just little over four months to execute the event. It typically takes four years for a country to plan. The Tamil Nadu government sanctioned immediately rupees 92 crores for conducting the Olympiad. It deployed 37 senior IAS officers across departments to oversee and ensure that everything is done to create the necessary infrastructure for the event. The mascot, called Thambi, was soon unveiled and the state government started a publicity blitz around the event. Music director Yair Rahman was roped in to compose the chess anthem. Roads and bridges were painted in chess colors and hoardings were erected across the state, not just in Chennai. Chess competitions were held in all the 38 districts and the winners would get a chance to see the Olympiad live. Prime Minister Narendra Modi too joined the excitement. He not only kicked off the torch relay in New Delhi but will also inaugurate the Olympiad on July 28. A grand opening ceremony is also being planned by the state government.